Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Design Adam. In this video, we will discuss the some interview questions and answers for the product design engineer. Okay, so let's start the video. Uh, so the first question is, can you walk us through your design process? So here, interviewer is asking the uh, he want to know about the design process. Okay. So you can answer like this, uh, my design process involves uh, firstly starting with the defining the problem and understanding the design requirement. Then I will go for the some, I will gather some information and research about the uh, product and uh, on the existing product and the technology. Third then i will de uh, develop the concept and create the rough idea uh, in the form of sketches and the drawing then i will evolve it and refine the concept based on the feasibility cost and the performance and after finalizing the concept i'll create the uh, create the model uh, in the form of 3d model and the drawings okay and after creating the 3d model i will go with the simulation I will perform in the AFEA team and uh, prototype I will test and refine the design based on the FEA result okay and then uh, after uh, preparing all these things uh, uh, if everything is okay then uh, there will be the release process for the final uh, final design for the production okay then finally we will release the we will release the all the models and drawings for the production so you can give the answer like this for the design process and you can modify this one based on your experience you are holding how do you ensure your design are manufacturable so here you can say I ensure that my design are manufacturable by taking into account the manufacturing process from the beginning of the design process. I work closely with the manufacturing team to understand the capability and the limitation of the process and design my product accordingly. I also use the uh, design for manufacturing which is generally called as DFM principle such as minimizing the uh, number of parts and simplifying the assembly to make the manufacturing process more efficient and cost effective so in this way you can summarize for the uh, your design uh, your design are manufacturable in this way you can answer okay how do you prioritize the design requirement when they conflict with each other generally the design requirement means uh, cost performance quality these are the requirements of the design okay so uh, if the interviewer is asking how do you prioritize the design requirement uh, when they are conflict with each other okay like the cost and performance your uh, how you can choose the first how you can prioritize between the cost and the performance like that you can understood from this question so you can answer like this uh, when design requirement conflict with each other I prioritize them based on the overall objective of product okay uh, so you can take example here if the objective is to create a low cost pro uh, product then the cost may be given high priority over the other design requirement and if the objective is to create the high performance product then performance may be the given higher priority okay i also consider the impact of each design requirement on the uh, user experience and the uh, long term success of the project you can add up uh, on the answer next question is can you explain the difference between static and dynamic load so static you can generally we see static means stationary object machine like that and dynamic is the uh, in the motion okay or running object okay so uh, you can uh, differentiate the static and dynamic loading by giving the answer like this uh, static loading is when the load is applied to a structure or material and remains stationary without changing over a time okay and dynamic loading uh, involve the load that vary over time okay such as vibration 
impact and the cycling loading and you can add few po uh, more points here like uh, static loading typically causes the uh, permanent deformation or the failure okay while dynamic loading can causes fatigue failure or the stress cracking how do you ensure your design meet safety standard and regulation so related with the safety standard and regulation you can answer like this to ensure my design meet safety standard and regulation i stay up to date with the latest industry standard and the regulation and i work closely with the safety and compliance team i also perform the rigorous testing and analysis to identify and mitigate any potential safety hazard this include conducting the simulation physical testing and analysis of the failure mode so you can answer like this and uh, if you have means if you have the experience you can add those experience here and modify this answer and uh, give to the interviewer okay can you describe the challenging design project you worked on and how you overcome the obstacle whatever we are uh, discussing the question these are all for the experience product design engineer so this question is definitely asked by the interviewer uh, what are the design uh, what are the uh, challenging project you worked and how you uh, means uh, if any obstacle how you overcome the obstacle okay so for this you can you can answer like this one challenging uh, design project i worked on uh, uh, designing a complex mechanism for a medical device and mechanism had to meet the strict performance requirement while uh, being easy to use for medical profession one of the main obstacle was designing the mechanism uh, to be small and the compact while still being a robust enough to withstand the repetitive use okay and to overcome this challenge i conducted the extensive testing and analysis to identify the potential failure mode and then iteratively improve the design until it met all the performance requirement so while while answering the challenging design project and the obstacle uh, just start with the overview first then the requirement of the project what are the uh, obstacle and then how you how you iteratively means uh, uh, step by step you improve the uh, product that you can add up here okay step by step you need to go okay can you explain how you would design a product for assembly so for uh, designing for assembly is an important aspect of the design product and it can be significantly impact manufacturing efficiency and the cost so to design a product for assembly i would consider the uh, these are the following factors are there so minimizing the number of parts so minimum number of parts we will use so to reducing the number of parts simplifies the assembly process and reduces the risk of error and defects okay this is the first point minimizing the number of part second point is standardizing the part and component so using the standardized component reduces the number of uh, number of unique part that need to be assembled and simplifies the assembly process so standardized uh, part we need to include in our design okay and design for assess accessibility means designing a part that are easy to assess and assemble uh, reduces the assembly time and the complexity and next one is the design for tolerance okay so ensuring that the part have tight tolerance reduces the risk of misalignment during the uh, assembly so design for tolerance is also need to be considered so for uh, so while explaining uh, de uh, design a product for assembly you can include this point minimizing the number of parts standardizing the part uh, standardized part in our assembly and design for ass accessibility and the design for tolerance that i need to means i will consider can you tell us about your experience with the cad software so here interview uh, interview want to know about your cad experience and how 
हाउ गुड इन यू यू आर इन कैट सॉफ्टवेयर ओके सो हियर यू कैन एंसर लाइक दिस आई एम आई एम प्रोफिशियंट इन सेवरल कैट सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोग्राम इंक्लूडिंग सॉलिड वर्क एटोडेस इन्वेंटर क्रियो कटिया सो बेस्ड ऑन योर एक्सपीरियंस यू कैन एड अप हियर द सॉफ्टवेयर लाइक क्रियो आई हैव यूज द कैट सॉफ्टवेयर एक्सटेंसिवली थ्रू आउट माई करियर टू क्रिएट द थ्री डी मॉडल मॉडल एंड ड्रॉइंग एंड कंडक्ट सिमुलेशन कम्युनिकेट डिजाइन कॉन्सेप्ट विथ द क्रॉस फंक्शन टीम आई ऑल्सो फैमिलियर विथ द पी डी एम एंड पी एल एम सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर फॉर मैनेजिंग एंड डिजाइनिंग डेटा एंड वर्क फ्लो सो बेस्ड ऑन योर एक्सपीरियंस यू कैन एड द सॉफ्टवेयर एंड द रिलेटेड सॉफ्टवेयर मीन्स डेटा मैनेजमेंट सॉफ्टवेयर ऑल्सो यू कैन इंक्लूड हियर एंड यू कैन एंसर द क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कैन यू गिव एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ टाइम वेन यू हैड टू यूज क्रिएटिव प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग टू कम अप विथ सोल्यूशन सो वाइल गिविंग द एंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन explain the previous uh, uh, your organization activity that uh, you uh, that you might solve some uh, you provided some solving problems okay so in a previous role i was tasked with designing a pro, uh, product that had to be small lightweight and durable but also had to meet the tight budget uh, After conducting a research and analysis, I realized that uh, we could use a new material that had just come uh, to our market, we, which was tighter and more affordable than existing material we were using. Okay, however, uh, the material was not yet widely available, and there are there were no supplier in our area to overcome this obstacle. i reach out to supplier directly and was able to negotiate a deal with how a materials shipped directly to our manufacturing facility uh, this solution allows us to meet all the design requirement while staying within the budget like this you can answer uh, based on your experience you are holding you can answer this question uh, because this question is related with the experience only so you can add up the your experience here can you explain the difference between tolerance and the fit in the mechanical design so the tolerance and fits generally used for the product design engineer this majorly used terms so you can face you may face this uh, interview question in the interview okay okay so uh, while giving the answer you can say like this tolerance and fits are both important concept in mechanical engineering and the tolerance refer to allowable deviation from the specific dimension and it determines how much variation is acceptable in a final product fit on other hand refers to the relationship between two part that are intended to be assembled together and it determines how tightly or loosely the part will fit together okay and tolerance is used to ensure that the part are within acceptable range of the variation while fit e fit is used to ensure that part fit together properly during the assembly and next question is can you explain your approach to designing a product for manufacturability so uh, while designing any product our final aim is to be that product should be manufacturable so here interviewer want to know about the uh, your design approach toward the product for manufacturability so here you can answer like this designing a uh, product for manufacturability is important aspect for the product design and to design a product for manufacturability i would consider the uh, this factor means uh, design for uh, scalability means Uh, design a product with uh, ability to be manufactured in high volume or with uh, minor adjustment for the different size next one is i'll i will ensure that minimum complexity so it means that reduces the complexity of the design uh, uh, it will reduce the production time and the material cost next one i'll ensure the use of standard parts and the materials so selecting a standard parts and the material reduces the material cost speed up the production and simplifies the logistics 
next one i will ensure optimize the assembly so design for easy and efficient assembly to minimize the labor time and reduces the risk of error next one i will ensure the end user means keep the user need in mind and design for ease of use and maintenance can you describe a time when you had to work with the cross functional team on the design project so while designing the project uh, sometime we need to uh, go with a different team we need to work with a different team to execute the project okay so here interview is asking related with the interaction with the different team okay so here you can answer like this i have worked on several design project that involve the cross functional team one project that come to my mind is when i was designing a new project for a automotive company the project involved working with the team of mechanical engineers electric engineers software engineers and the manufacturing engineers to ensure that everyone was on the same page we held a regular team meeting to discuss the progress identify the potential issues and and coordinate our efforts we also use collaborative software tools to share the design data and communicate design changes by working together we were able to design and launch the product on the time and within the budget so it's overall it's overall team work and uh, every team is supporting on the same project okay and uh, on the uh, on the same page they are communicating and improvising the project by discussing with the uh, complete team okay from the different different areas okay you can answer based on your experience you can add those the points here you can add the points here and you can give the answer next question is can you explain the difference between ductile and brittle material so this is a basic question generally uh, generally may ask for the product design engineer so you can ask uh, you can answer like this so the ductile material are those uh, that can be stretch okay that can be stretch you, you can take the example here rubber and steel it won't directly break okay uh, while the brittle material you, you can take uh, it will not deform it will directly break okay okay directly break or fracture like uh, glass and ceramic so friend that's all for this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so see you in the next video thank you for watching